Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a scorecard chart and how to use the scorecard chart uh, in a dashboard in Google Sheets with a slicer. Uh, here I have a data file that uh, lists uh, all of the students enrolled in a graduate program. So I have a lot of information like uh, their first names, last names, emails, phone numbers, um, and also I have their GPAs. Now, uh, don't worry, this is not real data, it's simulated data, so uh, not uh, breaching confidentiality here. So um, let's say that I want to summarize student's GPA and use that information um, on my dashboard. So I already started working on my dashboard. I started creating it here uh, in a separate sheet. Um, as you can see, I already have another table here, a pivot table, so I want to include a scorecard chart um, that displays uh, an average student GPA. Now, scorecard charts uh, only display one value, and for this reason, they are typically used to uh, monitor uh, key performance indicators or variables that we are considering very important and that we should monitor, like for instance, um, a student GPA. So to do that, I'm going to click on insert and then chart. And notice I have a blank chart here. I'm going to move it in the area where I want to create my scorecard chart. And uh, on the right side, I have a chart editor. From the chart type section, I'm going to select my scorecard chart. And to do that, I have to scroll down and go to the other area. And this is uh, the icon for the scorecard chart. So I'm going to click on it. But of course, uh, um, the chart is not displayed here yet because I didn't specify the range of values. Right, right here in the data range area, right now I see J6. That's because my cursor is placed on J6. But of course I need a range of value for creating a chart. So to do that, I'm going to click on this icon. And then from here, I can go to Sheet 1 where I have the data and simply select the entire column K. And I'm doing this because as I'm adding more values at the end of the data file where I enter information, new information about uh, new students, then I want my chart to be updated automatically. So I click OK now, and you can see that I have a value in my scorecard chart. But one important piece of information about scorecard charts is that um, they can display a unique value or they can represent uh, an aggregated statistic um, based on a range of values. So by default, it only shows uh, one value. And in this case, if we look here, the 3.6 represents the first uh, GPA value. Of course, that is uh, not what I want. This is a GPA of one individual. So um, going back to my chart, I have to um, make this change and make sure that I'm using an aggregated value. To do that, I can click on the three dots here, edit chart. Now I have my chart editor here and notice that I have an option here for using, for aggregating the data, right? So I'm going to check this option. By default, um, Google Sheets is calculating a sum. Now, of course, a sum of all GPAs doesn't mean anything, so it's meaningless. I have to select a different summary statistic, and I have several options here. Uh, an average or a median would make more sense, even a minimum or a maximum value. But let's say I'm selecting the average GPA, right? And now you see that the value has changed, but I also want uh, the user of this dashboard to know what this value represents. So I may want to add a title to this chart. To do that, I can go on the Customize section and then click on Chart Access and Titles, and then just type 
uh, the title that I want. In this case, I can use, for instance, um, average GPA. Okay, now this is a lot more clear. Um, of course, uh, as I mentioned before, this value is calculated based on uh, all of the GPAs in my data file. But those uh, GPAs belong to students who maybe have graduated from the program. And that information is not always very useful for program administrators. Uh, maybe we want to focus only on students who are currently um, enrolled or are still working towards uh, their degrees. So to do that, I may want to filter the data. And I can filter the data by adding a slicer. A slicer can be added by selecting the chart uh, that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use my scorecard chart and then go to data. And then uh, from here, add a slicer. The slicer was uh, created here, but I can just move it anywhere I want. I'm going to put it here just to uh, make it clear that it's associated with my scorecard chart. And uh, Notice that it says here, select column first. Uh, automatically, I have the slicer editor here. And by select column first, it means that I have to select the variable that I want to use for filtering the data. Um, in this case, of course, I could use the enrollment year. Let's say I want to look at students from the past two, two or three years. Um, or I could use uh, other um, filtering information, like for instance, uh, only the students who have defended their proposals. But in this case, I want to look at the data by student status. So I'm just going to select status. Notice that here there's a checkbox that says apply to pivot tables. This is really important because uh, if you leave this box checked, which is fine, but it's important to know that if you leave it checked, then uh, the filtering that you do for the scorecard chart would apply to um, the pivot tables that you have on the dashboard as well. So I'm just going to leave it, leave it checked for now, but just uh, I want you to be aware that uh, this button needs to be checked or unchecked depending on uh, your needs. Um, one other thing that you may want to do is also change the title. Of course, the word status is not very clear. I may want to specify that I am filtering by student status. Okay, so now I have my, um, my slicer here. If I click on the drop-down menu, I can select uh, the students that I want to include. I definitely want to include the active students, um, also the ones who were deferred, but not the ones who were dismissed or who have graduated, or the ones who have withdrawn from the program. And then I'm going to click OK. Notice that because I left uh, that um, button checked, now my uh, table looks different here. I have only active, deferred, and inactive students in this uh, pivot table as well. So this is how you create a scorecard chart in Google Sheets and how you can uh, use a slicer to filter data um, for a scorecard chart.